welcome to another R Factor tutorial. I am your host, FreeW67, and today I will be showing you how to use the Gmotor 2.0 Scene Viewer, also known as the Windows 32 Viewer. I feel a lot of people don't realize they have this tool. Uh, it's a really nice tool to be able to pull up tracks outside of the game and see them how they would look in game. So let's get started. First, we want to set the root path, and that'll be where your locations folder is inside your R Factor directory. Since I'm a 64 bit user, I am in x86. So, R Factor, game data, locations. Click OK. Then we need to set our scene file directory. Basically, that is the location of your scene file inside the track. For this example, we'll just select Joesville, so let's go to R Factor, Game Data, Locations, Joesville, and then we click the subfolder because that's where the scene file is. We click OK. Go to Video. You select what resolution you want to do it in. I normally always do it in windowed mode. And I select DX9. All Viz Groups. And we'll click OK. Okay, it'll put you at zero, zero, zero. Now I'm going to left click hold. And you can see I can move around. And then I'll use the arrow keys. Up is forward and back, obviously left and right. And you can also use A to go up, Z for down. If you hit H, it gives you a menu screen of some of the options you can do. What, uh, there's a few things on there that's not in those options. If you hit F1, it'll take the, from sunrise to day. F2, day to sunset. F3, sunset to night. So if your track does have lights, you can view them. And as you can see, this pretty much looks how Joesville looks in-game. Uh, this saves you some time of constantly going in and out of our factor just to look at your track. If you're you know just fiddling with some stuff, alignment issues, instead of loading the game, waiting for all the nonsense to go through, loading the track, you can hop in this real quick and take a peek. Uh, let's see. You also turn off the lights. L turns them back on. All right. Since you say it's daytime, lights are on. We'll hit L again, turn the lights back off. You can see your shadows, and then you hit F2, you can see how they move throughout the day. Uh, there's a lot of neat functions with this. Basically, just come in, start weighing on your keyboard, see what options you got. Like, let's see, it's W, toggle outlines, that's a good one. Shows your mesh. So if you have any goofy polys, at least you could view the mesh. You know where in your mesh it's gonna sh it's gonna show. Yeah, there's the skybox, all your lights. Just do a lap. And as you can see, you go through everything. And then you just notice the screen's going a little funky. That's just where there's nothing in R Factor. Let's see. And you'll get that off in the distance. You can see it also. So don't be alarmed if you see that. But I highly recommend using this program. It'll probably save you a lot of time from you know the going in and out of R Factor. It comes with the R Factor tools the dev tools from rfactor.net any questions or comments please leave them here on YouTube or over at my forum at nsrs.jawcentral.com thanks for watching